This is a tutorial video on how to update or create a new artist profile for our arts in education teaching artists through the Cultural Alliance of York County. So this is for teaching artists in York, Adams, Franklin, and Fulton counties to be able to make an artist profile, which will work serve as our artist uh, teaching artist roster for the Pennsylvania Council on the Arts. You're going to start by going to York365. Dot com. You'll arrive here at the homepage. If you have created an account before, you will come in here and go to login at the very top of the page. And if you have not created an account before, you're going to go to create an account. And also a reminder that if you need a different language, we have an automated translator that you can select your preferred language here as well. If we are logging in, the page will look like this. You'll use your credentials. You can, of course, always reset your password. If you have any trouble with this at all, you're going to want to email us, rita at culturalyork.org, to let us know that you're having trouble. We can help you with that password login. Or if you're creating an account, just some basic information um, for account creation. This is not the same as your profile information. This is an account to be able to use all of the assets that are available on York 365. So once you have signed up, and or logged in, we'll go to your dashboard. Dashboard is going to look like this. Over here on your left, for teaching artists specifically, you'll come all the way down to artist. And again, if you are a new user of the website, you're going to add a new artist or manage artist if you already have a artist profile started. It's set up this way because you could actually have multiple artist profile pages set up and controlled under one single username. If you are adding a new artist, you need to start with your profile information, which will be starting here and filling out. And I'm just going to show you that if you are managing an artist or shifting and updating a profile that's already been created, after you click manage artist, the edit button is this little red pencil that's underneath the name that shows up on this list here. And when you click that, of course, it goes to the same place as before to edit your profile. So as you're editing or creating your profile, you're just gonna fill this page in, keep scrolling down, fill in as much uh, as is relevant to you. One important thing to do is here under artist type, as an arts and education teaching artist, you'll see it's the very first option that shows up here. And you're gonna to wanna to absolutely click that. That is how your name as a rostered teaching artist shows up in our full roster when we pull a list. So it's very important that you click this as your artist type. Of course, you can select multiple, so select any other ones that feel good for you. Same thing with artist style. The list goes on and on and on and medium, of course, as well. So lots of ways to um, showcase yourself and your work. Now, this bio and statement is just general. It's your introduction to people. Um, below, your primary image will be the first image that shows up, the main block that shows up for your profile. And then, of course, you can add a gallery of images, I think, up to 10. Um, and now we have this option to create a cover image as well that has to be certain sizes. So you're welcome to make that look any way you'd like. Now we get to the part that is teaching artist specific. So it says invite only here, just so that folks who are teaching artists outside of our structured Pennsylvania Council on the Arts, Arts and Education program can still utilize the site, but this is only for those of us folks who are working directly through the Cultural Alliance with the PCA. The art form is going to be kind of that introduction to potential host sites about who you are and what you do. Of course, you want to you uh, click into your preferred populations, select your counties that you're able to work in. Um, if you have testimonials, there's a space for that here. Again, these are the outward facing parts that allow potential host sites to select you as a teaching artist and get to know you um, uh, if, they, if they've never worked with you before. And then you'll see below the places where you can upload all of your clearance documents. You have those three specific clearance documents, your federal background search, your Pennsylvania State Police background search, as well as your Pennsylvania State Child Abuse Clearances. There are places for you to upload all three of those documents. 
those are internal only. So those documents are not available or shown on the public profile side of your York 365 profile. Those are only available to us on the back end just so that we can ensure that you have them um, and pull them up if necessary. Um, resume is here. There's also a spot for literary work samples. Those are both up to you. They're not required. If you are creating a brand new profile, you must hit update profile before you add anything else to your profile. Um, that will bring you back up to the top where you can add other types of things. If you have video posted on a third party site, YouTube, Vimeo, something like that, of past teaching artistry work that you've done, this is a great place to put that. Um, you can also add audio. We have recording and song artists who um, use this to upload again from a third, uh, you put in a link from a third party website. Here's what that looks like. Um, and it shows up very nicely on the front end of your York 365 profile. Um, the third thing for those of us who are in York County, you can also add associated events. You can add events that you may be participating in or hosting that are happening in York County, and that will show up on our arts and culture calendar. That is the baseline for creating or updating. Of course, you always wanna save it, you know, when you get to the bottom of the event or at the bottom of your profile. Um, creating a profile does not automatically show up publicly. We review all profiles who, which are submitted from the back end. So please allow for at least two days to for us to see and approve your profile before it becomes public and you can see it from the website. And if you need it to be approved sooner than that, you are always welcome to send us an email. Again, all of that contact information for Anything York 365 related comes to Rita at culturalyork.org. We're always happy to walk you through anything, help you with any questions you have um, so that we can use this excellent resource. Thank you. Good luck.